What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing Confidential. Confidential is a recently released room from Troy Hack Me. And as per the description, we got our hands on a confidential case file from some self-declared black hat hackers. It looks like they have a secret invite code. Okay. Scrolling down. Um, this is the description we just read a while ago. So it looks like they have a secret invite code available within a QR code. So there is a QR code that contains a secret key. We have to uncover the key by reading the QR code. That's the first piece of information we can extract. Next. But it's covered, the QR code, it's covered by some image in this PDF. If you want to thwart whatever it is they are planning we need to we need your help to uncover what the what that qr code says so the qr code contains a secret key and the qr code is covered by a pdf image an image in a pdf file access this challenge in the okay so we deploy the machine and this is the machine guys and this is the pdf file all right as you can see it, it is labeled as confidential and this is the description we just read and here is redacted secret qr code as you can see there's a qr code but it is covered really by an image so there is no chance of reading that qr code unless we are able to um, extract the image of the qr code right so in order to do that we have to do some sort of pdf forensics we have to extract all of the artifacts from the pdf file the artifacts can be images, can be embedded codes, whatever the PDF might contain. We extract them, we analyze them, and then we will be able to um, uh, conclude or draw a conclusion about what this PDF file is all about. In our case, hopefully or, um, or fortunately for us, we don't need to extract any embedded codes for analysis. We just only need to extract the images. So there are a couple of ways to do that. The first one, we can transfer the PDF file to my own machine, all right? Or we can use an online tool. So an online tool, we can go to Firefox. Don't send. So the Firefox takes ages to open on the machine. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead with the next way, which is transferring the file to my own machine. So ls. Oh, what's happening here? Let me close this one. I'm going to close the terminal here. Okay. Opening the terminal again. LS. Seems like I have a problem in the language. So I'm going to switch to English and then I will be able to write. So the file should exist in home Ubuntu confidential. So CD confidential. And this is the file. So we're going to connect to my machine guys here using netcat so i'm going to open listener on my own machine and see dash lvp 4545 and then we're going to send that to a file called reports or re pdf all right and on the attacker machine or the try hack me machine we're going to go back and send this file uh, we need the IP address Okay, so this is the IP we're going to get back to the machine and here paste in the IP address the port 4545 and we send in the report report rebdf Okay Let's check my machine if we receive something.
Nope. Um, read of PDF. Send again. So now we're supposed to have received the file. So let's check it out. And it is here. Read PDF. Okay. So let's try to open the file. And indeed, now we have received the file to my own machine. Now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to use a tool to extract the images from this file. The tool name is PDF images. Contrary to what uh, some of the guys might say that we can use binwalk, we can't use binwalk on this file because binwalk help us, can be of help if we want to extract embedded code. In this case, we want to extract embedded images. So we're going to use a tool called PDF images. I'm going to install this. Okay, PDF images dash all extract all of the images and then we specify the file rebtf exactly and ext let's see external so we have three images here this is the, it's actually it starts with the xt because that's the uh, name i start i chose so basically we go back and then we have as you can see three images one and as you can see these are the images that covered the QR code. If we click on that, you see now we have the QR code here. So what we can do now, we can use the QR code scanner to extract the flag inside the QR code. Okay, there is a tool called forqrcode.com. You can find any tool to read the QR code. If you just type QR or image, QR code reader. You'll be able to come up with the rice results. I use this one. So here we upload the image. And as you can see, we were able to read what was inside the QR code. We're going to copy that. This signifies the secret code that they talked about in the challenge. So here we paste in the flag. And this is it, guys. I hope you guys like this short, easy room. And definitely we will do more difficult rooms in the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.